how then did the transition happen from a ketogenic diet to a carnivore diet? What, like, what were additional improvements? Yeah. Okay. So the ketovore approach, you take out most of the carbohydrates and you're limited to 50%, uh, 50%, 50 grams or less of carbohydrates a day is the typical ketogenic approach. So in effect, that takes most plant materials out of the diet. Plant materials are absolutely the problem for most people. No two ways about it. Unequivocally, no question. Excuse me. If you consume any significant amount of plant material in your diet, you will experience a problem from doing that at some point. In my mind, there is no question of that. Why do I say that? Because plants are toxic. They contain plant toxins. They contain anti-nutrients. They contain pro-inflammatory substances. Plants do not want you to eat them. They are not here to feed you. They are here to procreate to the next generation of their species and um, you eating them is a damned inconvenience and so they will discourage you from doing it. The animals that eat the most plants or the most plant material in the world are actually the, some of the smallest. They are the insects at large. Most plant toxins are designed to kill insects very quickly and they do very effectively. They don't kill human beings quite so effectively or quite so quickly because we're much more robust than most insects. However, they will kill you slowly and painfully over a lifetime. No two ways about it. Fact. Take most of those plants out of your diet and your, your, your health improves miraculously. It gets you to sort of, well, in my case, it's, it's an N equals one sort of situation. Everyone's a bit different in terms of exactly where you'll get to if you just go keto. If you go keto and stick to it, if you're at 50 grams a day or less, 20 grams is even better, you'll get, in my estimation, to somewhere around about maybe 80, maybe 85% healthy if you're lucky. You'll think you're great. You'll think you're 100% healthy at that stage, but you're actually not because you don't know how much better still it can be. If you take that last 20 to 50 grams of carbohydrates and plant material out of your diet altogether and say, okay, I don't need you, be gone, Satan, mm -hmm. then you'll find that there is another vast improvement again, up to 150% health. Yeah. You, you, you'll, you'll think, you know, you'll think you're at 80, 85%. But if, what, what you think is that like a, a diet that's 95%, carnivore adherent would get you 95 percent health it doesn't there is a completely unfair penalty against your health for that five percent transgression against your biological um, design your 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 heritage really as a human being it's only in the last eight thousand years that we have consumed any amount of plant material at all and that's a result of the agrarian revolution, which is the biggest mistake human beings have ever made. It was absolutely disastrous for our health as a species. Our brains got smaller, our stature got shorter, our skeletal structure got smaller, our muscularity went down, our jaw lines and, and mouths shrunk, our teeth became more crammed up and got diseased. We got dental caries, holes in our teeth from the from the sugar all over our teeth that the bacteria have been turning into acid and, and eating our teeth away. Um, yeah. You know, all the degenerative diseases, all the inflammatory diseases, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, all of them are down to carbohydrate consumption. Plain and simple. Yeah. And um, so when you, when you finally make that step and go, yep, it makes sense. I now understand the biology of human beings. How much carbohydrate per day do human beings require to survive and thrive? And I, when I say how much carbohydrate, I mean how much carbohydrate in the diet. How much do you need to eat every day to survive, be healthy, have a long life and thrive? The answer is not one gram ever none 
you have all the biological pathways to generate all the glucose you require for brain function, for muscle function, for other organ functions and things like that yourself. And you can make all that carbohydrate from non-carbohydrate sources. Any exogenous, meaning exterior to the body, any exogenous carbohydrate that you put into your mouth is poison. You don't need it. It will kill you over a lifetime. So once you work that out, which I did about six and a half years ago. Better. Baby train. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is a common theme also. Um, it's very difficult for people to go from a traditional diet where they're eating either high or even moderate amounts of carbohydrates towards a full-blown carnivore diet. So I feel that ketogenic diet notion really helped a lot of people transition because it kind of helped everybody understand the basics of ketosis first. And once we understood that, because everybody's been brainwashed that sugar is your main energy source, once we understood what ketosis is, that it's our natural source of fuel, we are born on a ketogenic diet. As long as you are breastfed, breast milk is designed to keep the baby in a ketosis state. So after that kind of sunk in, people now realize like, yes, this was a step in the right direction. I feel better. It makes sense. But I can do even better now with a carnivore diet. So this is really exciting. And I can already see there's a lot of interest because it's not like I started out with my YouTube channel talking about carnivore diets. I'm not sure if you started out talking about carnivore diets. Um, from the get-go, but you did? Oh, okay. So when I started, I was just still in that ketosis state and ketogenic diets. And so I have old videos about that. And as I transitioned, I transitioned into a ketoboard diet. I was like, this is interesting. And then that that's when I was starting to dip my toe, right? Into carnivores. And then when I did carnivore diets, you can truly see that there is a lot more interest in carnivore diets. And so now not only am I more convinced, but like I see people also more convinced about that. So it's yeah. exciting. 